Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey and thank you so much for watching today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you products that I have purchased over and over and over again. So I recently heard someone do a video like this and I honestly don't remember who it was or what exactly they were doing, if it was like products they purchased more than once or twice. I just don't remember, but I remember hearing the idea and something just stuck with me and I was like, I need to do this. Because I have things that I am like loyal to and a lot of them I feel like I have talked about and some of them I feel like maybe I haven't talked about or maybe not recently and so I thought this would be such a fun idea. How I'm kind of qualifying my products is if I have purchased them three or more times in like the last as much as I can remember time. Like not within like the last like year. But maybe like within like the last two years, if I have purchased these things three or more times, I feel like that's like, that's saying a lot. So we're gonna get started with makeup because honestly, that's the most interesting one. So yeah, the first one I'm actually gonna put on real quick because I'm not wearing any lip product. This is from Burt's Bees. It's the Tinted Lip Balm. And I have used this stuff for years. I love this product. I think I, I think I might have gotten the first one from my mother-in-law. I don't remember, but I've used it for literally years, probably at least four years. But I have repurchased this one in the shade Xenia three times. Well, I've purchased it three times. First time, finished the entire tube. Second time, I got a little ways in and lost it. And then this is the third one I've purchased, but again, like I have purchased other ones in the past, just not this exact shade, but this is my favorite lip product on earth. Like I can't leave the house without this. This is pretty much all I've worn like the last year, almost. <laughs> the next one is another classic product that I have used maybe in different forms for the last like 12 years. It's from Bare Minerals, and this is the matte foundation, and I have used the original, I've used the blemish prone, but I love Bare Minerals foundations. I'm not wearing it today. It, like, it looks so good on the skin. It just looks like skin without, like, but it covers, and it's just so good. I love the matte formula. It's not overly matte. Maybe if you had dry skin it would be a little too much, but the original for me is a little too like luminous. I haven't tried the original in quite a few years now, so I am interested to see if maybe it would work for me now because my skin's not quite as oily as it used to be, but the matte is beautiful. I have been convinced of this for years, and I feel like I've mentioned this in videos before. When you put this on in the morning, I think it looks good. Like, it covers, it looks all right. But I swear, like, the longer you wear it, the more it just, like, melds into your skin and kind of just, like, becomes one with your skin and you get more coverage. I don't know how it works, but it's magic and I love Bare Minerals for it. Another foundation, this is from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Foundation. And I've bought this, I think, four times. I really enjoy this foundation. I have, this one is in the shade Nude Ivory and it's the light neutral shade. It's so affordable. This is literally $5 and it looks so good on the skin. You can kind of build it up if you want to or you can just wear like a nice sheer coverage of it and it, it just looks great. I will repurchase this as long as I can, I guess. As long as it agrees with my skin, as long as it's available, I will repurchase this. This next product I have used for probably five years. This is from Wet n Wild and it's the Photo Focus Eye Primer. What is it called? Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. This used to be part of the Fergie line when they had like the Fergie line. I don't remember what it was called, but it was in black packaging, but it looked exactly like this. Like it was the same shape, but it was all black and it said like Fergie on it and I fell in love with that eyeshadow primer. I probably bought that one twice, maybe even three times, and then since they've repackaged it and it's in like the normal Wet n Wild line now, um, I've probably purchased this three times as well. I, this is a brand new one, I just bought this the other day because I needed a refill on it and I love this. I feel like I've heard a lot of people on YouTube say they don't like it, 
but I love this stuff. I think it holds so well. You do have to work quickly with it because it can dry pretty fast and then once it's dried it's not moving so you can get like some creasing with it. But as long as you put this on fast, it's going to hold your eyeshadow all day. I have two Essence eye products. The first one, the first one is the eyeliner pen in waterproof. I love this eyeliner. This one looks a little a little wacky. I mentioned this in a video recently that I bought it and I didn't look at it and then I went to Chicago and I brought this with me because I wanted a new eyeliner and I got there to use it on my first day and of course I pulled it out and it was wonky. But it still works and so I'm just gonna use it until I can't anymore. But I love this eyeliner pen. I've tried it in the non-waterproof formula. Totally different, not worth it. You gotta do the waterproof, love it. And it's $2.99. The other one from Essence is the Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara. I have this in the shade Soft Brown or something? Soft Brownie Brows. And I love this. I've had this in blonde as well. This is another one that I've purchased like at least three times, probably four times. I've bought this for multiple people. I love this product. It's so good. It's got just a little tiny brush on it. A little bit of fibers but nothing crazy that you're gonna be like uncomfortable using it and it's just it's so good I love it and the color I think I like this color more than the blonde it's I, I don't know what else to say but I love it and I will repurchase it for a long time oh by the way this essence pen I have probably purchased this I honestly I honestly don't know how many times I purchased this upwards of 10 for sure the last makeup -y item is from e.l.f. and it's the Shine Eraser Blotting Sheets. These are a must for me. I have oily skin and so throughout the day I will get oily. I don't typically retouch throughout the day just because I'm lazy and I honestly don't really care. But like I just retouched right now before I filmed this because I have been... I did my makeup like over 12 hours ago and so I'd like to be refreshed for a video but I will use these occasionally like in my normal life as well if I'm like wanting to go out later or I just need like a little refresh I will use these and these are a dollar I've purchased these so many times I love them let's move on to I have one hair item let's do that this is from Lush. It's the No Drought Dry Shampoo. I love this stuff. Lately, I have been using a different dry shampoo as well. I kind of switch between this and the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This one is overall my favorite. I love that it adds like some texture, but sometimes it's just not quite enough. Like I need a little bit more dry shampoo action happening on my roots and the Batiste works a little bit better for that. But this, for an everyday dry shampoo, is so good. And it literally lasts, like, at least a year. Like, not even joking. I use this probably two, three times a week. And let's see, when was this made? March of 2017. I'm pretty sure I bought this I want to say I bought this last May and it's like it's about halfway gone and I just think it's incredible value and I really really love Lush and so it makes me like this even more and I think I've purchased four of these over the years even though they last a while I do use it all right I have two body care products and then I'll finish with some skincare both of them are from Trader Joe's actually the first one is the ultra moisturizing hand cream I think I've gone through six or seven of these like I love this stuff it's so good I keep this on my bedside table and I just use it every night on my hands or like I'll put a little bit on my feet and it's just so nice and creamy and moisturizing and it smells really really great and I think it's like five dollars and so this is definitely one of my favorites that I will repurchase over and over and the other one is giant 
It's the three in one, or what's it called? All for one, one for all, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. This is a staple in my house. Like we can't go without having this in our shower. I don't use this to shampoo my hair. I have used it in the past. Um, pink is hard and requires a lot of special shampoos. So I can't use this on my hair right now, but I have used it in the past and I do enjoy it. It does a good job. I can't use it as like a shampoo and conditioner in one, but it works good as a shampoo. But I love this as a body wash. It's so nice. It smells so good. And my husband uses this as well. He uses it as a shampoo, he uses it as a body wash. And so we go through this quite often. Well, maybe not super often, but at least at least two a year we go through this. No, probably more than that. Like maybe, maybe three a year. So we've gone through, this is our second bottle this year for 2017. Eight, no, it's 2018. This is our second bottle for 2018 and I will repurchase this again and again. Like I said, we've probably had four, maybe five of these. It's so good. All right, so let's end on some skincare. I have, my trusty eye makeup remover. I have used so many bottles of this. This is from Up and Up, which is Target's brand, and it's just the oil-free eye makeup remover. And it's the one that's comparable to Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. It works great. It's like a solid in my makeup collection or like skincare collection. I've used this for I don't even know how long, so long. I'm actually using a Clinique one right now that I got for Christmas, and that one, I think this works better. Like, this just works so good. I love it, and I just purchased this one today because I needed a new eye makeup remover, and I thought, what a great excuse for this video. And uh, I think it was 350. You can't beat that, even at the drugstore, other options, and I think it works better than anything else I've tried. I have two face washes, both from Trader Joe's. The first one is the face wash with tea tree oil, and I have used so many bottles of this. I love to use this at night, in the morning. It's like a really nice facial, facial? It's a really nice facial wash. And I feel like it does a good job of cleaning, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or tight or irritated. It's just so nice. And I know personally my skin does really well with tea tree oil. And so this has been something that I've gone back to over and over again. But not only do I like this for my face, I love this for washing my brushes and my sponges. It does so good. Like I love being able to wash my brushes with it. I feel like it really gets all of the makeup out. Especially when you're using like a thick concealer or like something that's really like builds up in your brushes. And I wash my brushes pretty frequently. Like I wash my all of my brushes like once a week. And so I feel like that's not like a ton of time, but I feel like you still get like lots of build up on your brushes and this just cuts right through that buildup and just does a really good job of cleaning them and doesn't leave them like feeling dry either. And so I love this for my face and for my brushes. This one is a little bit on the newer side for me, but I think this is the fourth bottle that I've purchased. This is the facial cleansing oil, also from Trader Joe's. And this has argan oil and coconut oils and then there's like a few other things in here. I just purchased this one the other day because I was kind of missing it. I was just using this one at night, but I really enjoy using this at night because it just takes off your makeup really, really nice. How I use this, and I've gone back and forth with like oil cleansing over the last five years, and how I prefer to use an oil cleanser is start with dry hands, dry face. I spray, or not spray, I pump a little bit into my hands and then kind of like work it into my hands and then I just start like rubbing it on my face and just like really, like the minute you touch your skin, you can feel your makeup pulling away from your face. It's a wonderful feeling, I love it. You can use it on your eyes. It's not gonna get every little trace of eye makeup off 
and so that's why I still use an eye makeup remover. But this does such a good job of pulling everything off of your face. And then if I want to go in with the other cleanser, I can do it then. Or I can just finish with a toner and it really does a great job as well. I also have a facial spray from Mario Badescu. This is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I've gone through quite a few of these as well. I, this is... Well, this isn't the smallest size it comes in. I think there's like one that's smaller. I think this is kind of like the normal size. And then there's one that's bigger than this. I've had like all of the sizes and I love this stuff. I'm actually not using it right now. I got this for Christmas, but I'm kind of like saving it for later because I have a different facial spray that I'm using right now. I mainly use this at the end of my makeup application. I use it to kind of set things down. It's not going to be one of those facial sprays that like holds your makeup in place. It's not like a makeup setting spray. I just think it really helps your foundation look like skin. It just kind of sets everything in place and just makes it look really nice. And that's what I go for in my personal looks most of the time. And so I love that. I love that it's kind of on the natural side. It's cruelty free. There's no like harsh ingredients in it and so this is something I've purchased over and over and I will continue to purchase over and over. And the last one is definitely up there for like the amount of times I've repurchased it. It is from Lush and it is the Let the Good Times Roll Facial Scrub. Or I guess it's a face and body cleanser. Sorry. This smells so good. There's just a little bit left in here. If you have never smelled this scrub from Lush and you like Lush, highly recommended. I've probably used this off and on for like the last four or five years and it's just so good. It smells delicious. It kind of smells like caramel popcorn but also just like warm smelling. I think it does really good things for my skin. I only use it in the mornings because it doesn't remove like makeup really. I just think it does a really good job of exfoliating and kind of like getting my skin ready in the morning. And so I use it in the morning in the shower because it can be a little messy. If you've used any of Lush's scrubs before, I've used a lot of the other ones and this one is definitely up there on my favorites. I wouldn't say it's targeted towards oily skin at all actually, but I just really enjoy it. It doesn't leave behind any oiliness, but it definitely doesn't feel like it's like helping with oiliness. But I just, I really enjoy this. I think it does really good things for my skin and I've used this, like I've said, the last years and I've purchased this so many times. I recommended this to so many people just because it smells delicious and I like what it does for my skin. It's really nice. Again, yeah, I don't know what else I can say except I really like it and yeah. So that was all the products. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like that was really fun for me to put together just to like look through all of my things and like pay attention to what I was using for the last few days and kind of think about the things that I've used for years or the things that are kind of newer or things that I've repurchased so many times and things that I just have like a one-time purchase for and then never buy them again. And so I just thought it was super interesting to do. But I'd love to hear about something that you've repurchased over and over and over and over. A lot of these products aren't things that I've purchased like just three times or like just twice, but they're literally things that I've purchased upwards of seven or eight times. Make sure to leave those products down below because when you use something for that long, I feel like it's usually for a good reason. So I'd love to hear about those products and uh, we can get chatting about those. That was all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and until next time, bye guys. Get the screenshot. Oh, yep, this is all falling. <laughs> uh, I can't move. <laughs>